All right, click the links to join the channel here or on subscribe star. Thank you to the recent members. Very cool. So Rings of Power is in trouble. But here's where I say no, no poop. Um, yeah, I mean you could see that from thirty thousand feet. It's got like I went from a thirty-five and it rose up to a thirty-five, a thirty-nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes or something. Though oddly enough, Internet Movie Database gave it the uh, seventy percent. But then it turns out that Amazon owns Internet Movie Database, so. I mean, sure, there's nothing to see there, nothing nefarious there. And then on Amazon's own internal site, they gave it a 70%, the exact same score as IMDb, which is kind of weird. And this is the uh, the show that when it came out, Amazon said, oh, well, people are going to review bomb it. So we're going to turn off reviews for the first like day. And I turned it into three days. I'm like, oh, we're going to turn off for the first week. Oh, okay, did it help? Yeah, now it's, it got up to 69%. Okay, but like outside of Amazon controlled businesses what did it get oh 35 percent. okay so which one is likely to be more a more accurate representation well we removed reviews that were not in accord with our values wait are you just saying you remove views that you just didn't like like reviews that didn't they didn't like they gave a review it's like how do you how do you did you remove any 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 reviews that gave it 10 out of 10 no 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 we just that the, was the low scoring ones Okay, so you're just openly saying you're manipulating, which honestly sounds like an Securities and Exchange Commission uh, fraud, because in some small way, yes, you are manipulating um, the share prices and representation of the value of the company. But anyway, so Rings of Power is is in trouble. Um, yes, but here's the thing. It's going to be a year or two years until season two. By you know which time, I'm sure people will probably have forgot. Two years, like they said, oh yeah, it might be 2025. You're like, how long does it take to start putting episodes out there? It's like maybe you don't need to spend eighty million dollars on a you know a season, maybe may, or a show. Like maybe you could probably just like just do a Ren Fair movie. There was a Mystery Science Theater uh, show that was that was filmed in a Ren Fair on like a weekend, at least the the outdoor scenes, and then everything else is you know interior shots. So it's like you probably want to dial down the expectations. You, you know, I don't think, I don't think you need to spend that kind of money. Like just you have these outdoor settings and you got the costumes. It's like yeah. Yeah, man, let's, let's, let's lower expectations. It was like, we've already spent $700 million on it. It's like, yeah, now it's a situation where we're trying to not, we're trying to lose as least money as possible. Like, you know, you, this is not a hit for Amazon. And it's not even just uh, a flat hit. It's like, this is, you're going to be writing in red ink for this. So it's like, okay, well, how do we, how do we, how do we try to lose less money over the next four seasons? Um I, I could tell you how, but I don't think you'd like my answer. Um, so it's going to be a year or two before they uh, – they. so you've got like a chance to to fix this. Well, you'd have to fire everyone and start fresh and stick close to the original artistic vision, which to say that just terrifies them. And they immediately label you a, a wrecker of progress, a wrong thinker, and someone who's – you just hate diversity. Uh, let me be clear here. Yes, yes, because that I know what that means. It means wait, you're gonna you're gonna take the artistic original vision, uh, you know, this European story, and you're gonna change that from his original vision. Yes, that's what diversity means. Then yes, of course it's cancer. Just write something now. But they they they're terrified to do that also, because like this is all about pushing propaganda. But by, by now you you've got to be aware that something deeper is going on with Hollywood. You got the story on one hand and the path of the original vision of, of the creator. Then anything that moves away from that path is propaganda. That's the definition of propaganda. People want Tolkien. Amazon is the package delivery company. Yeah. They're not, they're not told, or even the video hosting services. Like, okay, so you collect videos and you distribute them to people and you monetize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the business side of it. But the creative side is something else entirely. Amazon is, is not Tolkien. It's not Lord of the Rings. They're they're lizard people. Amazon doesn't write original stories. Someone like Tolkien does. The best Amazon could hope for is to stick as close to as possible as the origin because anything other than the real story is propaganda. Amazon should write original stories if they want to uh they want to push some globalist propaganda nonsense. They don't. They don't because people don't want to buy. Like if you start off with something that's essentially 
the elf questing of a story. It's it's an original IP. It's written just for Amazon, and it's some kind of loosely, you know, Wheel of Times, Lord of the Rings, or what's that other one? Game of Thrones. Kind of, they're all kind of loosely set in a European fantasy setting. It's like you started fresh. You created something. It's like, oh, it's all, you know, it's it's all super diverse right from the start. It's like nobody's going to be on board with it. They would laugh it off. You're like, this doesn't make sense. It's a it's a European. I don't know if it's a medieval setting, but it's a fantastic mythological setting of dragons and wizards like that's very distinctly european mostly english but so oh no no we're gonna have like it's gonna be from a set people around the world because we value diversity it's like oh but the audience doesn't because it doesn't have verisimilitude it doesn't make sense to have to have people who were not a part of this mythological storytelling structure to represent the story that doesn't make sense all we're seeing is propaganda yeah congratulations you're you know put on the glasses and, and start to see these um start to see that what this propaganda is is all about so no amazon does not want to tell uh, original stories they want to do this bait and switch thing where you take a known property and then you corrupt subvert and destroy it and they are they really are the bad guys this uh you know the all seen eye of amazon then when the customer explains that there are no afro hobbits in lord of the rings the show soy boys call them toxic istophobic chad hugo boss like whatever they whatever is is topical of this like those things might be true or they might not be true but it doesn't change the underlying our argument that lord of the rings is what it is there are no afro hobbits in lord of the rings there are only euro hobbits because we read the books and we saw the movies that were in in accord with the books ad hominems don't attack the argument you got to get comfortable um telling people what you want i want lord of the rings to be a european story now here's the thing i don't have to explain it, explain it beyond that i don't have to explain how diversity is bolshevik cancer which it is but in the terms of explaining on social media why uh, rings of power is not worth watching because explaining what cancer diversity is is not the relevant argument the first part of this flow chart is i want to see lord of the rings this is not lord of the rings because lord of the rings is a european story and this is something that is not that i don't have to engage with these bolshevik soy boys after that statement when cat ladies and soy boys call me toxic hugo boss it doesn't hurt my feelings or change my opinion because those are soy people who are empty shells they are puppets to their puppet masters they have they will they will not stand up for anything if they have to go against the herd at all it doesn't matter what atrocity is coming down the line because you're seeing you're you're, you're seeing some atrocities happening right now and the left wing as you see with jk rowling and some of those associated issues the left wing is not standing up against what they're doing now to uh, those who are under the age of majority they have no core to them they have no dogma they will say or do anything the crowd tells them to do we us our side are different and we're better than them we am i saying i'm better than you we're willing that was from uh the young turks that chick on the young turks the young turks used to be a like a popular show like 2015 and then 2016 it's like all those like a lot of the energies got kind of sucked out of those type of left-wing shows anyway and i mean now in 2020 after after trump uh got out you got a like cnn embassy and be seen who are looking around the audience and go like where'd the audience go like the only reason people were watching the, these reactionary shows is because um because they're you know the, the the orange guy was in office anyway so we are willing to disagree with these puppet masters and their billion dollar big tech companies so uh elon musk is supposed to close the deal on friday i think so fingers crossed on that go back there and get my you know seventh or eighth youtube or uh, twitter account and the soy boys might praise woke shows but these movies bomb I, I, how many times have i said like the charlie's angels example and there's like or there, there's a dozen examples like charlie's angels you know you go oh so where's the audience if you, it's like some left-wing feminist thing where the audience oh they didn't materialize were they all busy that opening weekend and then every subsequent weekend yeah i guess they were but yeah for some reason she blamed men anyway so they're saying one thing and they're definitely doing another they're not putting their money down for or was that bros that the the eichner whatever thing came out so it's a a blt romance that uh i don't know what it cost and it costs like a ton of money to make and it costs like some stupid amount of money to make and then the advertising fee and you're looking at this like why are you spending all this money that is like just this is you're supposed to incrementally boil the frog and this this uh the eichner guy 
who made this movie just went all the way to the end. Like we're going to have a, we're going to have a, a BLT, a prurient interest adult scene. Like, uh, very few people want to see that. Very few people are on board with seeing two dudes do that kind of stuff. Anyway, they're hypocrites. They're obvious hip- hypocrites. They want you to watch propaganda, but they won't watch it themselves. <clears throat> They've done it with comic books, movies, shows, wherever they go, whatever they touch, they destroy. They see a group of people who are doing their own thing, having a good time, but it's an in-group. So the parasites will come along and say that it must be opened up to everyone else, but everyone else didn't make it great. The original people created it. It is for that group. And if you want to come into it and enjoy it it's like come into it and enjoy it but don't change it or don't ask it to change oh it needs to be more diverse and inclusive but that's not what it is and if if you want that you should go create something else it's like oh it just needs a little bit more diversity and inclusion again that but that's not what drew you to it in the first place if you want to come into something to change something then you don't really like the thing you just see it as a vehicle for propaganda everything for these people is is a vector to push some kind of bolshevik talking point Anyway, so they're going to try to quietly reshuffle the uh, producers away from the show because either they can't fire them for the the five uh, the five season contract. Um, I think that's one of the issues, and then the other obvious issue is you can't publicly fire somebody on a show like this, which isn't just a show. It's it's you know cultural Marxist propaganda because then it's an admission of failure and that your talking points like when the left unravels and it's going to happen. Um, it's going to just be this massive collapsing house of cards where like one little thing, that's why they can't like, they keep getting further and further out to the point of, of absurdity where like even the left can't follow the far left now. Cause they're just going so far out. The thing is once it starts, like once the pendulum starts swinging back, like in the stuff they're doing with kids now, it's probably going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Cause I mean, if, if there, there are some Hills that are wor- literally worth dying on and protecting kids is most, most humans are going to look at that and go, yeah, this is probably it. This is probably what's 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 worth uh, what's worth it all. Um, but if the pendulum starts coming back, then you go, okay, well, what led up to this? And you start knocking down this house of cards. But uh, I don't know. There'll probably be a, a civil uh, dissolution before that kind of happens. Anyway, so there's no saving rings of power because you need to fire all the non-European actors and replace them with European ones and return it to its roots of Lord of the Rings, which is what it's supposed to be. And you will be waiting for hell to freeze over before that happens. When they describe a show in the positive, they use diversity as a selling point, but it's a detriment to a story because they're admitting that they're inserting their own propaganda into, in this case, a European story. They don't put Swedes in an African or Chinese story because the globalists pretend to value those people. They, they really don't. They only value their, their in-group. But Europeans may be erased because they hold no value, except we disagree on that point um, very, uh, venom, very, very much so. But, but now I can't, I can't watch any PSC character because I know that they're going to be written as purse puppies and Mary Sue's, and I'm right about that 100% of the time. They're going to be the brave hero, and the fair characters will be the evil coward. Why would I want to support Bolshevik propaganda? And the thing is, once you you know go down the rabbit hole, put on the they live glasses, whatever. You, once you see it, you see it, and it just it's a one way it's a one way journey where you start looking back and back at uh, other movies you enjoyed, and you go, oh, it was kind of there also. And then you look at foreign movies. It's like why is a uh, that's another video is why is Japan just kicking the hell out of the West? It's like because Japan is Japan, and like they don't have to kowtow to anyone. They don't have to try to placate these these Bolsheviks because Bolsheviks don't hold a lot of power in Japan. The, the Japanese take care of the Japanese people. So as their stories feel authentic and organic, where the uh, America's stories are, they're not America's stories because there's nothing in America. America's just a, a commercial zone run by uh, big tech and bankers, which is another video, but I don't think it's going to be allowed. I don't think I'm even bother trying to put it up on YouTube. Uh, I'll put it up on uh, Odyssey and BitChute. Um, about all that whole that situation. So think about it, what an in, uh, insult it is to remove Europeans from a European story. It's okay to hate the people doing this. And I do. Um, because they very much hate you. They very much hate you. And if you're on Twitter and social media, you know what I'm talking about. Like once you see it, it's like discovering, it's like as cataclysmic I don't want to say it's your first orgasm, but it, it's it, it's like that, but it's even deeper than that. It's more like discovering that little green aliens are um, are visiting the earth 
It's like discovering that, like that actually happened or some, something just as equally as fantastic and bizarre and shocking. It's like something that's possible, but you just didn't see the probability of it. And then you realize like, oh, it, that that one in a trillion combination actually came up. You're like, oh, it's, it's all it's all real. It's it's similar to this. It's kind of an earth shattering thing to see this stuff slowly. And then you go like, oh, we have a problem here that we're probably not. No, let me fix that. That we're definitely not going to vote our way out of. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Hey, welcome to uh, welcome to history. Every uh, every generation. This is the worst possible time to have kids. No, this is the best possible time to have kids. Every generation on Earth has gone through that period of time of saying that <laughs> conflict is eternal. To paraphrase Hercules. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the channel on YouTube if you can, while you can, for the while, the, the remaining time on there. Or check out Subscribestar, which has probably got a little bit more longevity to it. Like getting, I don't know what it takes to get kicked off of Subscribestar, but I, I don't think I'd ever be, uh, I don't think I'd ever be that edgy. Um, and I will see you guys all next episode.